all judgments as to the value of life have evolved illogically and are therefore unjust. The falsity of human judgment derives firstly from the condition of the material to be judged, namely very incomplete. Secondly, from the way in which the sum is arrived at on the basis of this material. And thirdly, from the fact that every individual piece of this material is in turn the outcome of false knowledge, and is so with absolute necessity. Our experience of another person, for example, no matter how close he stands to us, can never be complete, so that we would have a logical right to a total evaluation of him. All evaluations are premature and are bound to be. Finally, the standard by which we measure our own being is not an unalterable magnitude. We are subject to moods and fluctuations, and yet we would have to know ourselves as a fixed standard to be able justly to assess the relation between ourself and anything else whatever. Perhaps it would follow from all this that one ought not to judge at all, if only it were possible to live without evaluating, without having aversions and partialities. For all aversion is dependent on an evaluation, likewise all partiality. A drive to something, or away from something, divorced from a feeling one is desiring the beneficial or avoiding the harmful, a drive without some kind of knowing evaluation of the worth of its objective, does not exist in man. We are from the very beginning illogical, and thus unjust beings, and can recognize this. This is one of the greatest and most irresolvable discords of existence.